what actually happened. There was, of course, as we know, that uh, big uh, shutdown that was planned uh, for tomorrow, and now we hear the mayor is gone. So is the protest going to continue? The shutdown has been called off for tomorrow. That's, of course, following the, the mayor uh, being removed from office. As far as we understand, council members set for the whole the entire day today we are, um, to try and remove the mayor from office from what we know from the council members who attended the meeting the mayor was actually not present in the meeting but because majority of councillors were at that meeting they decided that they will in fact remove the mayor from office this is following a spate of violent protests that we saw in this area last week residents say they're protesting against high electricity tariffs we spoke to some of them yesterday as well as today saying that they are spending a lot of money on electricity and are not getting um, the value for money in terms of the units that they are they are getting um, out of the municipality as they some of them saying that they pay uh, about 10 rand and, and only receive five units which can only last them a day a lot of the people are pensioners or people that rely on social grants so a lot of the, the community members came out in their numbers after hearing that the mayor has been removed from office they came out to stand at the circle which is near the shopping center this is where they've been gathering throughout their pro protest action and they came out here today to celebrate and to say that this this municipality is indeed and in, at the hands of the people now people are feeling like they are empowered they are feeling like they are governing this municipality I've got with me one of the community members who has been at the forefront of these protests so if you, if you, can, if you can just um, introduce yourself yourself for the, for the sake of our viewers Debucho, and then just how this journey has been for you in terms of leading this protest. Uh, my name is Debucho Ubusitze. Uh, this has been a very challenging uh, journey uh, because of the hiccups that we encountered and the hiccups at the behest of our leaders uh, or people that we elected into position of, of power. Uh, so. Uh, we are happy today that at least some of our councillors that we've appealed to their conscience that uh, we cannot continue uh, to have a chaotic city uh, because of they cannot take decisions. We elected them so that they must take decisions on behalf of the communities. And today we are very proud that at least as a collective, as a united front, the people of Sol Plaki stood together to achieve what we have achieved today. There were other demands apart from the mayor stepping down. If you can just highlight some of them for us. Yeah, we had six demands which we uh, gave to the municipality. But in all those demands, every time for those demands to be met uh, in bread and pieces, we had to march first. Uh, so one of our demands was the 260 that we had to pay as uh, a fee. They call it a basic fee that you had to pay before you can buy electricity. And then we marched against that and it was removed we had to uh, they also introduced a 5.95 electricity increase that we do not agree with they had to remove that also and we said the electricity price is expensive in Solplaki and then they they had to drop it a bit but it's still expensive but at least we have uh, made our gains and uh, the most important thing was that they uh, appointed a PR company and allegedly paid 1.2 million without taking it to tender and when we asked them why do you do this uh, no one could give us an answer and to date we haven't gotten an answer as to why do you appoint a company when you have capacity just for them to send SMSs and flyers you give them 1.2 million I'm sure even Comrade Power could do that easily but uh, what is important to us we said those people must be held accountable the CFO and the MM and the mayor refused and he was held bent that he was going to defend those people with all his might. Up until we marched again where the ANC uh, decided to intervene and, uh, and suspend those particular uh, uh, officials. But we said to them, we don't only want those officials to move, we also want the mayor to move because of this inaction. Uh, we've been marching every day and properties have been destroyed, people have been arrested, shops have been looted and you are not holding anyone accountable. This is because of the mayor uh, did not take action and we've begged him we've pleaded with him that is why we are the only community in this country who have followed the Lord to the latter we have always applied for strikes we've always been so keen in abiding with the laws of this country 
just quickly, I know that you have called off the shutdown tomorrow, but you, you've said that if needs be, if those councillors who voted against the mayor are threatened or intimidated in any way, you will go to the streets to protect them. That is because of uh, the poster that we have taken is not a political poster. That is a community that is united. That is the poster that we have taken. And we are held bent that we will defend these councillors for protecting this community. It can't be yes. that we betray people who have protected us. Yes. We have been crying for help from government, from politicians and the municipality. These councillors decided to stand with us. So it is our responsibility to protect them at all times. Yes. Let's get a response from one of the community members that have come out here. Mama, if you can just give us your response. Mm, we are very happy, even though that we are not happy that the, the, the CEO and the MM, they, are, they were suspended. We wanted them to also to be removed. But so far we are happy with our leaders, the way they have run the way for us. We are very, very happy. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wena, Mama, you also want to say something? Yes, I would like to applaud our leadership in terms of the objectivity they had when they led us, especially when they considered the element of law. Because sometimes as we are, when we are angry, we tend to neglect the yes. element of law. Yes. And then the law will hunt us yes. in along the long way. Yes. Now, my point to, is to say that it is very much appreciated to say that we reacted calmly to call off the strike tomorrow, yes. which showed that we are very sober yes. as the community. And uh, if the demands or the response again in terms of the issues of the electricity is not resolved, mm -hmm. some of us as the community members, we are also going to consult in terms of the law, what does the law say, so that when we act, we'll be acting in the parameters of the law. So that is all that I want to say. Thank you. So the community of Sopiaki municipality is saying that they are very sober, that they are adamant, that they are happy that the mayor has been removed, that they will go to the streets again if their other demands are not made. They've submitted a memorandum consisting of six demands and they are saying that if those councillors that voted for the removal of, removal of the mayor are threatened or intimidated in any way in their positions, that they will go to the streets again to protect yes. them. Yes, we will. We will. In addition. In addition.